everyone, it's me Maribel. Today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to create picture frame moldings with our Decoflare chair rails so you can give your rooms that little upgrade and feel at home. In the Decoflare range you will find pre-cut ready to use frame sets. Today I am using the pre-cut frame set CL1 to create frames of 39 by 59 centimeters. At the same time we will build a second frame here which we will dimension individually and cut ourselves. To install your chair rails you are going to need a miter box, a folding rule, a pencil, a sponge, some sanding paper, a painter's spatula, a glue gun, some deco flare glue, a spirit level and a saw. Start off by checking if the installation surfaces are clean, dry, dust free, grease free and smooth. Draw the outline of the two frames on the wall using a pencil, a folding rule and a spirit level. We recommend you leave a 10 to 15 cm gap between the frames and between the frames and floor or ceiling. Measure the length of the first side of the frame and mark it on the chair rail. Here we start with the short 59 cm sides. It's really important to position your miter box correctly. Place the side of the box with the three parallel lines facing you. In contrast to cutting the ceiling and skirting boards, we use this part of the miter box for the wall panels. Use a suitable saw like this with rough teeth to cut the high density extruded polymer chair rails. Put your chair rail in the miter box and saw it in the direction that you marked on your profile. Repeat these same steps for the long sides. It's necessary to take some sandpaper with 150 grit or finer to level the edges where I cut them off and try to make them as smooth and even as possible. After that I remove the sanding dust with a damp sponge or cloth. And now let's get started with the installation. This is when I need the Decoflare fixing glue. First I need to cut off this top part of the glue cartridge, then I have to screw the nozzle onto it and cut the end off. Finally, I can place the cartridge into the glue gun and really get going. I apply a bit of glue along the entire length. Immediately fix the chair rail to the wall by aligning the edge to your pencil mark and applying light pressure with your fingertips. Then remove any excess glue with the spatula. I again apply a bit of glue to the gluing surfaces, position the chair rail against the wall and remove the excess glue. Now install the pre-cut frame in the same way. Fill in the joints with a Decoflare glue and remove excess glue with a spatula and a damp sponge. After a resting time of 4 to 6 hours, I can fill the wall and miter joints with a deco flare glue. You can repeat these steps if you wish, but you don't have to. Finally, we need to talk about the paint. At the end, so the other day, the cornices have to be coated with diluted emulsion paint, preferably twice. If you feel like taking your rooms to the next level, you'll find lots of other tutorials on our channel. These include videos on how to install cornices, chair rails, skirtings or lighting profiles among others. If you're looking for more inspiration and decorating ideas with Decoflare, go to our Instagram account and hit that follow button. Have fun with Decoflare, feel at home, yours truly Maribel. <laughs>